I don't know, do, you, do you remember specifically from the Big Ten title game what that feeling was like, and how has it shaped you the whole year since leading up to this? Uh, yeah, you know it wasn't a good feeling, obviously, and uh, you know we've you know used our mistakes and you know you know corrected them and used them as motivation to you know get better uh, you know in the off season and you know all through you know fall camp and you know coming into this up to this game. So uh, you know we fueled it and uh, used it as motivation, and uh, you know, I think I think it'll show on Saturday. So. Jeff, you guys only completed eight passes in the game you played against them last year. What's going to be maybe the key to make some dynamic plays in the passing game this this time around? Uh, you know, protection. Uh, you know, they have a you know a good you know, front, front four or five five guys, and uh, you know they blitz a lot. And uh, you know they're also you know very sound on defense. And uh, you know so we're going to have to you know do a good job of you know doing our jobs. And uh, I think it'll open up the passing game. So could you win this game completing eight passes? Or do you have to throw the ball effectively against this kind of defense? Um, I think you have to throw it effectively. Uh, you know, you know, throwing it effectively will open up the run game, and you know, and vice versa. You know, running it will open up the passing game, and uh, so I think they kind of work hand in hand, uh, as you see with a lot of weeks. So, Duran described practice as intense this week. What are the, what's the coaching staff expecting out of you guys as captains and leaders on this team preparing for such a big game? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's been intense, uh, you know, but, you know, every week's intense, uh, you know, especially playing at Ohio State. Uh, so, you know, I, we've just been, you know, doing our jobs and, you know, going through practice and, you know, game planning. And, uh, you know, our coach has got a great game plan. And, uh, you know, we just got to do our best job executing it. And uh, so, it's, you know, it'll, it'll obviously be an intense game, too. So, What is it like to be an underdog? <laughs> You've been that rarely in your career here, but, what, well, maybe back a couple years ago. What is it like to be an underdog? Um, how does it motivate you? I don't. I don't think we pay a whole lot of attention to that, honestly. Uh, you know, I don't even know what the you know what the spread is, all that the underdog, over you know whatever. Uh, you know, I think, like I said, you know, we just got to do a good job of executing our game plan, and uh, if we do that, we'll yeah. be all right. So. Has this game? You, you talked about it earlier, but is this game stuck in your crawl for for 11 months now? I mean, the, there was so much waiting for you guys if you win that game last year. Uh, BCS birth, et cetera. How, how does that go about motivating you in, in August or in July? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it definitely does. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, we took our mistakes from that game. We learned from them, and you know, we, we harnessed them and used them as motivation. You know, into the off season, and, uh, and we didn't get the outcome we you know we wanted in that game, obviously. And uh, so, like like I said, you know, you just got to fix the things that you did wrong, and. Uh, you, know, you can't go back and change the past. You just got to move on and uh, you know take your mistakes and learn from them. Uh, and that's what we've done. So I think it'll, it'll work out on Saturday. So. For, for, for the seniors, how, how important is this idea that to get a Big Ten ring, you're going to probably have to win this game? I mean, if you don't win this game, it's probably not going to happen. And you guys don't have any at this point. I mean, you were 12-0 and the one season, the best team in the Big Ten, but you didn't get to play for it. Just how important is that whole goal, I suppose? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously very important. Uh, you know, like I said, your senior year, you obviously you want to win the Big Ten. I think that's the goal of any senior uh, going into their senior year. So uh, it's very important, and, uh, you know, we we know where we're at, and we know what we've got to do to, to win the Big Ten. And, uh, you know, that consists of beating Michigan State on Saturday. So that's we're going to do everything we can to. So. And these questions that you're folks. taking to avoid false starts this week, because I know that Michigan State this year has used clapping as a part of their defensive communications. Uh, have, you, have you discussed that at all? I mean, we we played in Penn State. Uh, you know, it was pretty loud there. And, yeah, but this uh, is on the field. This is actually an on-field noise that they're making by clapping. Um, Has it been discussed yet? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know the whole clapping thing. Uh, I know usually when you know the offense is out there, the fans are pretty loud. Anyways, you can't hear the dude next to you, let alone someone clapping on defense. Uh, you know, there's. Know, whatever, how many people they have in the stands, they're all clapping. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of clapping going on. <laughs> so I don't think clapping really does a whole lot. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, we played at Penn State. You know, it's as loud as it gets there. And uh, so I think you know that prepared us well for you know going in this atmosphere. So yeah, what did y'all learn from that from a communication standpoint? They were playing music right up to your snap sometimes. Right. Like that. Was that a, were you aware of that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Was like the ball's about to be snapped. They still have music playing. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was just you know, it was it was a crazy atmosphere, and uh, like I said, I think you know, playing in that atmosphere a few weeks ago, uh, you know, definitely you know, we can use that as you know, a tool and going into this atmosphere. Uh, you know, we've been in a tough atmosphere 
as, as you know this year, this team, and uh, I think that can help us on Saturday. Does so. JT have a distinctive distinctive clap? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all do use the clap, you know? Yeah, I mean, we got a, we got a diff few different that ways to do fun. it. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, we, I mean, we have, a, we have a few different, you know, snap counts, and, uh, you know, we don't always go on the clap. Uh, you know, we can change it up and do different things. So, uh, you know, it's not always, you know, we talk a, lot, a, whole, a whole lot about clapping right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, we can, we can do different things, so. Jeff, just we asked you a bunch about fourth and two in the offseason. You've talked to us about it. Have you thought about that at all this week? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it's something you're not really gonna, you know, just completely forget. Uh, but you know, like I said, you got to move on. You know, you can't go back and change the past. And uh, you know, like I said, you know, we, everyone in that game, we all, you know, we all used our mistakes. You know, we learned from them, and you know, we harnessed them, and you know, we're gonna move forward and you know, learn from them and go from there. So, Jeff, thank yeah, you very much. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks, guys.